guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and I make home and self-care content. Today we are talking about coffee table styling. I get asked a lot of questions from friends and family about how I decide what I put on my coffee table. So I decided to do a video that I hope will be helpful or interesting to you guys as well. I have a naked coffee table in front of me. This is actually a DIY that my dad and I built together, so I love it. Hope to have it for a long time, but let's get started with this styling and our tips so that we can make a beautifully styled coffee table. So there's a lot of different things that you can style a coffee table with. Some of my favorites that I tend to always gravitate towards are coffee table books or really any type of book that can create a good base for the other items. Candles, beads you've probably seen. If not, if you don't know what I'm talking about specifically, I'll pop a picture up here. Always love a plant knickknacks, something special that maybe you collected from a travel. For me, it might be something that I found at a thrift store or an antique type of market. Those are a lot of the base items that I always use, but again, what you like or what you might want displayed on your coffee table could be different. So to get started with styling the coffee table, I am going to use, like I said, books. Now, these two books are just from the thrift store. I picked them up because I actually love both subjects. The one is actually a book about football, love football. So I have this one. And then the top is actually the big black book, which is a book about information, advice, tips, all sorts of things that there's experts that weighed in their advice on and it just has so many different topics marriage sports relationships cooking all sorts of stuff in here so these are basically just two plain black books and i like to use these to anchor so tip number one is to have an anchor or a focal point for your coffee table for me that's going to be these books and they're going to be the foundation of what I style around them. So the next tip that I like to use is to style with different heights. So these books are still pretty low to the coffee table. So I am going to bring in my little olive tree here and I'll probably have to scoot over so you can still see me. But this is obviously much taller next to this. So bringing in different heights or levels keeps your coffee table from looking one dimensional or very flat. So we'll just add this to the front here. And again, that creates not just another shape, but also another layer here because this is essentially between these two sizes. Okay, so my last tip specifically just to styling is to group things or elements in odd numbers. I get why someone might think that symmetry or similar type items or number of items might look good, but when it comes to design, when things are too symmetrical or too the same, it tends to look really flat. So right now I have three elements on the table, the books count as one. So if I'm going to add something else, I want to at least make sure I add in an additional item so that there's five things here. So one of the things I'm going to add is a candle. Who doesn't love a good coffee table candle? So I'm going to put this back here. And then since I need one more thing, I'm also going to add this little stack of coasters to the front here as well. So since I've styled this essentially from behind the coffee table, I'll come to the front, make any little adjustments since I can't see it from the front, and then I'll go from there. Okay, so I saw it from the front and I made very few tweaks. I moved this a little bit closer to the books to make it look like this was kind of grouped in over here. And then I moved this piece over just a little bit and then straightened these two on top. Now. This is very simple styling. That is how I personally prefer it. I don't like to add way too many things onto my coffee table. Simple is better for me, 
but if you like more elevated styling or if you have a much larger coffee table, you can certainly add more things or more layers to this. But now that we've done this, let's go through some additional tips and tricks and things to keep in mind when you're styling your coffee tables. Okay, so the first bonus tip is to style for your home. Now, it can be very tempting to put some beautiful, fragile pieces that you have collected on your coffee table, but do you also have a toddler? You have to think about things practically so that way someone doesn't get hurt or so that way you don't end up with something broken that you really value. So just think about your life, think about your lifestyle. If you're a person who tends to eat a lot on your coffee table, filling it up with things probably doesn't make sense because you're going to get frustrated fast every time you want to eat. You have to move all this stuff out of the way. So when you are thinking about what you want to put on your coffee table, just think realistically about your lifestyle and what does and what does not make sense for you to have on there. Okay, next tip is to scale to the size of your coffee table. And what I mean by that is simply make sure that your items that you add to your coffee table are in proportion to the size of your coffee table. So there's going to be a difference or there should be a difference how you style your coffee table if you have a big living room and a really large square coffee table compared to maybe if you're in an apartment and you don't have a ton of space so you're working with a very small coffee table. So when you're scaling, you can still have pieces that you like, you just want to alter their size. So if I wanted to keep something like this on my coffee table, but I really didn't have adequate space for it, I could put something much smaller like this off my coffee table. It's much smaller in size, but it still very much has the characteristics that that piece has. The next tip is that the shape of your coffee table does not have to affect what you want to put on your coffee table to style it with. So sometimes I'll see comments like, well, what if I have a round coffee table? Or what if I have a square coffee table? It doesn't matter really. You can use the same type of elements no matter what shape of coffee table you have. The two things that you want to pay attention to if you're using a different shape coffee table is one, placement. So how you lay out your items is going to depend on what shape of coffee table you have. So I'm looking at a rectangle one right now, but if I was using a circular coffee table, I would have a different diameter than what I'm working with here. So instead of laying out my pieces a little more horizontally, I'd move it in closer, but I'd also slightly rearrange things so that they were at different heights, but also, again, different layers as well. So this would be as if you were envisioning a round coffee table. So the second part of that is, again, thinking about scale. Because if you are working with a different shaped coffee table, again, things are going to lay out differently on your coffee table. So if you have that smaller diameter, depending on which way your coffee table is, you're not going to want to take up the majority of your space with something this large. So again, you want to scale down because you don't want either one a million little things all over the place, that will not look good either. Remember one of our first tips, which is heights and layers. So if you're grouping a ton of tiny things on your coffee table, it's not going to look cohesive, it's not going to look styled well, there really isn't going to be a clear focal point on your coffee table. So when I say scale, I mean some elements, not every single element. And my last tip is just to play around with it. You can style your coffee table one way and just not like the way it looks at all. You just might have to do some tweaking. You can take everything off and start from the beginning, or you can leave elements that you know you do like and then move the other things around. Sometimes you might have to bring something else in and swap out. Just play around with it. It can take a little bit of practice and time before you start to understand the layering and the different elements and their positions, 
but once you get the hang of it, you're going to constantly want to restyle your coffee table because it is a lot of fun and what's on your coffee table can honestly really make the room look different, which is one of the things that I love about it. All right, you guys, that is all I have for coffee table styling. How many times did I say coffee table in this video? Too many to count. So I hope that these tips are helpful to you. I know how tricky it can be when you're trying to figure out exactly what to put and where to put it on your coffee table. So hopefully these tips were helpful to you. Comment below and tell me what you like to style your coffee table with. I always love to hear different ideas and things like that. If you enjoyed this video or enjoy home content, give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more home content, you can subscribe to my channel. But that is it for today. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.